Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. So there has been footage just released by the police department in Missouri and the mainstream media that allegedly depicts Michael Brown, uh, the teen that was tragically shot down by an officer, and there's been no investigation done on either side yet to prove uh, the defense of the police officer and or uh, his uh, malfeasance in shooting uh, Michael Brown ten times. There hasn't been a trial, so at this point it's all just hearsay uh, on both sides. But footage was just released showing Michael Brown allegedly depicting him robbing a local liquor store just before he was tragically shot and killed, stealing cigars. A six foot four man who pushed the clerk behind the counter and then walked out allegedly with the cigars in hand. Uh, if this footage is to be verified and is accurate in, his, in its depiction of Michael Brown, I think this really shoots a massive gunshot wound hole in the narrative that Michael Brown was taken advantage of by a police officer and shot tragically uh, not too long ago. Now, of course, this doesn't take away from the weight uh, and the repercussions that should be felt by the police officer who should be prosecuted under the full extent of the law if it is proven in a court of law after looking at the actual evidence and an actual investigation that he was in the wrong in shooting Michael Brown. Now, this to me is just another example about how the mainstream media blows up a story and creates a narrative, this black man versus white man racist narrative in order to fit an agenda without actually even reviewing any of the facts first. And I personally found it and have been finding it very surprising, not just the liberal leftist media, but even some among us in the conservative uh, alternative media, in the independent media sphere, actually supporting Michael Brown and defending that narrative without actually looking at the evidence. And this evidence, this actual credible evidence, uh, allegedly depicting Michael Brown robbing a liquor store, shoots a major gunshot wound in that official narrative. Just like Trayvon Martin, who was also a thief and who also stole things from his locker, uh, jewelry, and other items. Now we know, at least allegedly, as this story is unfolding, and I've just seen this on TV myself, Michael Brown, also a thief, a robber somebody that steals things from other people, which means he has a criminal track record and really discredits him completely. Now, again, this still should be investigated. The case still should be investigated by a court of law and the police officer who has now been named uh, should have to fess up to any actions or wrongdoing if that may in fact be the case. But on the flip side, nobody's defending the possibility that maybe the police officer was in the right Maybe he was frightened and intimidated and being pushed around by a six foot four individual who, by the way, has, at least according to this recent footage release, a historical and criminal track record, who's a criminal, who steals things from other people, who is a thief. And the mainstream media always shows these, you know, cutesy little pictures making these people look like they're little boys or something like that. The, you know, image of a hoodie with Trayvon Martin and looks like he's, you know, two years old, you know, sucking on a pacifier. Same thing with Michael Brown. When in actuality, these people and these kids are actually men. And Michael Brown, a six foot four man, for God's sakes, allegedly pushing store clerks around as he steals cigars. Uh, so it just goes to show you folks, and it, at least in my opinion, a thinking rational person, uh, totally and utterly discredits uh, and shoots a massive hole uh, in that official narrative, uh, showing with actual vivid imagery that this individual was a criminal and somebody who stole things from other people. And again, that's the truth. You know, what we need to focus on with this story is not the narrative black versus white or the race card or this racial narrative uh, and the ensuing, you know, riots in Ferguson. What should be a primary focus here is the militarization of our police department in America. Uh, we see the police locally in Ferguson in full riot gear with semi-automatic and automatic weapons, uh, totally militarized 
driving MRAPs, vehicles that they use in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's what should be the focus here. That is what America should be fearful of, and that should be the discussion right now. Uh, the fact that it's gotten out of hand, uh, that unarmed protesters throwing their hands up in the air, and allegedly this kid who was shot with his hands in the air is the problem. The militarization of our police department is the problem. That should be addressed, and we should work as Americans to actively demilitarize local police departments and demilitarize situations like what we're seeing in Ferguson, Missouri today. That's the real issue. That's the real story here. And again, you can't ignore the truth, folks. You can't ignore the hard evidence if this proves to, in fact, be actual credible evidence of Michael Brown stealing, really looking like a thug. I blasted an image of him on Twitter the other day of him flipping off uh, the camera and also uh, there was images released of him showing gang signs, etc. I mean, I look at things like that and honestly, it discredits that person. Uh, and if in actuality uh, it, this was the case and he was and did have a criminal background uh, and was the primary suspect in this recent robbery, it completely discredits Michael Brown entirely, 110%. I'm Christopher Green. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting it in your face. And click the link below to support our sponsor.